Welcome everybody to the very first lecture of this channel. Myself, Fahad Hussain, is explaining the very first lecture of physics. Those are students of all levels and also the English version students of class 9 and 10. You know, on your physics book, the very first lecture, the very first chapter is about physical quantities and measurement. And from today, uh, I shall be trying a level best to cover up all the parts of every single chapter of physics including O levels and also the English version students physics, chemistry and biology. As this is the first chapter and I already listed some very important topics that should be covered in this regard. Number one, scope of scope and development of physics, objective of the physics, physical quantities, SI units, dimensions, and some measuring instrument. These measuring instrument are very practical in this chapter because if I just explain what about physics, physics is a branch of science. Physics is a branch of science which deals with matters and energy. So, in case of defining physics, we can say that physics is a branch of science which deals with matter and energy. So, why physics is very important? If we see that from the very ancient time when science developed, lots of scientists, their untiring efforts of innovations, activities, discoveries and thoughts changes are day by day. Today we got internet, today we got loads of scientific evolutions and we can see surrounding us that we are covering with screen and mobile phone. We can connect each and every single body of the world with very minimum time. So how things happen, how things going on, that should be, that should be discovered in the process of development of physics. When you will read the chapter then you'll find that there are some name of scientists that is written what is their discoveries what is what are their inventions and how periodically things are changing so as we know that physics is the uh, science of the relations between matter and energy so if we divide physics into two different things Number one, idea of, we can write idea of, this is matter and this is energy. So, physics is all about in between matters and energy. So, if we divide it into how this matter can be studied into two different aspects, that is number one, it can be matter can be subdivided or can be studied into by their properties and relationship relationship between energy and again here energy can be again studied by relationship relationship with matter and properties so both we can see the both part has similar subdivisions that energy can be studied underneath of properties and also the relationship with matter and again matter can be subdivided into the relationship between energy and also the properties and again when these two different things is connected each other, we found some divisions of physics. Number one, these divisions is actually coming up with the relationship between energy and matter. So we'll find first one that is general physics. General physics. And then we'll find the thermal physics thermal physics as we know that therm is what is related with heat after that 
will find that sound and wave they will find electricity and then the last one is atomic physics atomic physics those are studying and right now in all level so if you see on your very first chapter of physics you'll see there is a table written on like that that how we will study physics on next chapters so in this chapter basically what was actually the considered point that how physics developed and what are the scope of physics what is the objective of physics if we say that what is the actual objective of physics then definitely we'll find two points number one we'll find that physics what physics do what physics do physics will clarify the laws of nature and number two, unearth or unearthing, unearthing the mystery, mystery of nature. Why nature is actually connected with physics? Because if we see very clearly, if we see very microscopically that physics is related with nature. And that's why the main objective of physics or if we say that main fundamental objective of physics then we'll find that it expresses the laws of nature and also unearthing the mystery of nature and that's why physics deals with matter and energy what's going on in our earth what's going on in the nature how atoms is going on how atoms inside there is a proton neutron and then subsequent experiments expresses that protons and neutrons again divided into very smaller particles how things going on and how whole universe is going on each and every single part is underneath of physics so the scope and development of physics is all about matter and energy in the very next class i will explain about what is the development of physics how from Thales, Plato, Socrates, Euclid, Pythagoras, Newton and the lords of scientists who invent from their best end and we got today the amount of science in outside. So this is number one scope and development of physics. Number two objective of physics. I discuss only these two topics. On the next part I will explain about the physical quantities what are the quantities, what is fundamental quantities and what is derived quantities and how these quantities will be measured and how the SI unit has been established and you know this SI unit means system international units that means in the whole world there are similar type of units has been expressed in each and every single fundamental or derived quantities so and next level I will explain about dimension and then some measuring instrument like meter scale, like screw gauge and vernier scale. How this vernier scale will be operate and how we can use screw gauge and can find some radius and diameter of substance. And then last of all, this is very practical classes that how to use these instruments and if we want to know these things, we definitely consider error and accuracy. How we can be uh, errorless and how you can accurately measure things. So see you on the next class. I will explain the physical quantities and severely the next level. Take care. Stay well. Bye.